And, then, and then I suddenly had a realization, I am not giving these kids what they need. Right. You know, as a teacher, it's my fault. Right. <laughs> so... So somebody's reluctant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and so, so yeah. when I went into the class the next, the next, the next day, I said, I, I started it off, I said, all right, I have a question for you. What is two and two? Nobody raises their hand, as usual. Right. And I said, come on, I know you know what the answer to two and two is. Right. And then I said, I said, look, I, I said, don't you realize that every time you do not answer a question, you're learning something. You're learning how to make two. What you got, you're learning how not to ask for a raise. When you, you know, when you're learning, you know, how, how to take it. That's not good. It's right. not good. So, from now on, whenever I ask, ask a question, everybody's got to put their hand up. I don't care whether you know the answer or not. You have to put your hand up. And I said, and I said, and I'm going to call on you. And if you don't know the answer, I want you to say nice and clear. I don't know the answer to that, Professor Delaney. But I would like to hear what that person has to say. We'll pass it on. And so this is what we started doing. And I said, whenever I ask a question, everybody put their hand up. I don't care whether you know or not. You know. And this is how we deal dealt with it. And you know. And this has got to be. You know. You, you need to teach people that they are important enough. It's important enough to say what they have to say. It, it's just very important. And that's how you fight evil. That's how you fight evil. You have to make them know that they are important enough and they're strong enough to do that. And, and if you don't do that, then you're not doing the right thing as a teacher.